Today is the big day. Today, the vet comes and shows us how to castrate the male piglets. Today was crazy, to say the least. We definitely need to come up with a better system to contain the mamas while we castrate the males. So we have a 36 foot swing from the east end coming to over here on the west end. Their hay feeder right here that you see the piglets messing around with. The feeder I'm going to have to move. couple cranks on it and your key post is out of the ground. Thanks to Al Lumna for sharing this tool in one of his vlogs. That tool is definitely a must have on the homestead. To this side. The north end has the waterer. Is just trying to figure out I don't have another waterer made up yet. I got the barrels to do so. Um, I got the nipples. But for temporary, I got a uh, galvanized trough. I can give the uh, south end here for water as far as the feeder trough. That one's gonna be a tough one to figure out who gets that. I'll probably give that one to Harriet since her piglets are obviously going to be older than Hannah's. And for the time being, Hannah can have one of our uh, rubber black flex bowls. So that's not the issue there. After what happened yesterday, yesterday was really nerve wracking. And the only way that this is gonna get done properly is if mama's inside the hut nursing on one side and Hannah's on the other. So we got the paddock separated without incident. I actually had to build Hannah's paddock around Hannah. She was laying where the hay feeder was and she just wouldn't move, so. I had to build that around her, but things went great. Kaylee, Jeremy and I, we moved fairly quickly. Here's Hannah. I'm thinking she'll have these piglets by Monday. The paddocks are kind of close together. We didn't want a lot of stress on the pigs, so we just decided to just separate the paddocks instead of creating a, a new one for Hannah. I figured that was the, our best option for right now. Buffalo chicken dip, what are you doing up here? You don't want to be touching that fence. Yeah, see, look what happened. You almost became buffalo chicken dip. Now I'm just waiting on Kaylee and Jeremy with the uh, water tub for Harriet. She's getting in it. She's expressing her pigments. idea of the waterer for Harriet that's definitely not gonna work she'll have it turned over by tonight 
So you want to go in there with Hannah and hammer in the T-post? Huh? You scared of Hannah? Oh, it looks like I'm doing it. Go in here and do her hay feeder so she doesn't knock that over on her. She's gonna want to build a nest here soon. We got to make a new water barrel for Harriet's paddock. Since we divided up the paddock, Hannah has her own now. She's due any day now. Um, and Harriet has her own with her piglets. We thought that that was best uh, for the safety of Harriet's piglets and the safety for Hannah's piglets once when they're born. And also the safety for us as well. Especially when it comes to castration time since yesterday was a yesterday was a disaster but we got it done it's in the books we learned a lot um so i'm confident from here on out we don't need a vet that we can do the castration here ourselves even if you try you I gotta go outside and cover up the potatoes. We got a frost advisory out for tonight. It's supposed to get down to like 35 degrees. Last night we had a freeze warning. I covered up the potatoes last night. Perfect, didn't phase them. Uh, they were in those grow bags. They are, the potatoes have taken off. I cannot wait to harvest them. So I'm gonna go get outside and just out there barking at something. He's still a puppy, you know, he barks at anything, but he knows how to do his job. So you can uh, check the vi video out right here, the link where he sniffed out a fox that killed two of our ducks. He did an amazing job. What are you out here barking at, buddy? Huh? There's nothing out here. I don't see anything, bud. You better leave that Sasquatch alone. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Woo, woo, woo. Come on. Woo, 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 woo. Henzo's still in there growling. I'll check around. So no predator, that's a good thing. All the animals are tucked away, good and tidy. It's time to call it a night. It's been a long day. Jeremy and Kaylee did excellent today helping out with separating the, uh, the one paddock into two. Here's our other elevated garden bed if you want to see how to make these it's very simple i'll put the link above just click on that and it'll take you to it where's the button at this light is blinding me oh there we no oh here we go have a good night good morning 32 degrees out this morning Ooh, cold I'm glad I did cover up the potatoes, that's for sure. But there's no ice on uh, the water bowls or anything, so nothing froze, so that's good. All right, everyone's all right, let's let the ducks out. We need to go check the pig fence. We got a new energizer on that. Wanna make sure it held up overnight. Good morning, good morning. Silicone didn't dry all the way last night on the water barrel that I made. And we got some frost on the grass. So I got the heater on that. I should have done that last night. 
hand is out, so no piglets yet. We need to test the fence Harriet and her piglets are in. I hope that energizer held up overnight and stay charged. Whew. Got a heavy frost last night, that's for sure. Definitely glad I covered up the potatoes. They're still asleep. I can hear the fence, it's still hitting. So let's test it out. Eight, look at that. Eight, that's amazing. So that's good news. Energizer held up overnight. Their fence is still hitting at 8,000 volts. While Hannah's fence is hitting at 6,000, which is still plenty. That energizer is powerful. I think I'm going to look into getting some more of those. It's very important when you have pigs behind netting versus, you know, your permanent infrastructure. Good morning, chickens. The ducks love going into the forest, into the woods, that's for sure. Look at them. They love it. Crazy ducks. Let's go check on the potatoes. Ooh, it is cold. Wow. So we got frost on the blanket. Look at that. The sun's hitting it, so that'll melt here soon. And the potatoes are fine. So that's great news. The potatoes made it overnight. Harriet's fence is hitting at 8,000 with the new Energizer. We just need to get that silicone. We need to get that dried on the water barrel and get that in Harriet's paddock as soon as possible. That we've expressed our dominion so beautifully. I like to listen to Joel Salatin a lot, especially in the mornings and especially on Sundays. Love listening to him. Joel is the godfather of homesteading. If you guys don't know about Joel Salatin, look him up. Trust me, you won't regret it. Oh no. I gotta cover up the duck feed. I forgot all about that. I'm nimble like a cat. Oh no, I forgot to pick up the duck eggs too. Oh, I am slacking. It, oh, it's just, it is a Sunday morning. It's been a long week. Come on, chickens. Look at them. Oh, you guys are scratching it out. They know I'm gonna cover it up, so they scratch out what they can. You scavengers, you. Smart chickens. Enjoy what's on the ground, I guess. Uh, look at them, they're coming in. Oh, here comes, here comes a big turkey. They are, oh look, they're still running in. Come on, Floppy. We got one duck egg in there. They just lay wherever they want. Two. Three, four, we'll, we'll take four. We're starting to load up on our duck eggs. Freckles, you cease to amaze me. There is nothing in here. You yourself have cleaned this out. Look at you. You are a very smart chicken. You're our best chicken. What? We got no leaks. Let's check the pressure at the bottom. Yeah, it's not, not even half filled. Our barrel is about 98% full of water right now. Check out this water pressure. Look at that. No leaks. 
yeah. That is all great. Stuff. Just look at that. Finally, Just shoots right on out. You can't beat that. Awesome. No leaks at all. Zero.